living in a house truck sucks. <laughs> Gonna quit. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Sarah. I'm Marcel. <laughs> and we are Gulliston Truck Life. So we're going to be sharing our top three worst moments of truck life. <laughs> That's going to go down on my list. So we um, are a family of five. We've got three kids and a little chihuahua named Diesel. And we have lived in our house truck beast for almost two years coming up in June. Yeah, pretty cool. And no, truck life doesn't suck. It just sucks sometimes. It does sometimes. It does, it really does sometimes. In fact, I think early on to our life in the truck, I think it was like the first month, Marcel said if it's gonna be this hard all the time, I don't know if I can do this anymore. <laughs> when we were having issues with the battery. So I always have to fix it. Yeah, he has to fix it. And I'm like, it's okay. And he's like, well, you don't have to fix it. So yeah, some of our worst moments that didn't make it into the top three was the time we got stuck in a driveway for two hours. Wow. Wasn't, didn't, the most challenging, I would think. Not necessarily the worst. But. Well, no, I'm just saying. How about, how about the time you smashed the door? I didn't smash the door. The wind smashed the door. Yeah. Stole the door out of my hand, smashed it against the side of the truck. Marcel had to install a new one. And you got those stupid ongoing leaks that oh, yeah. hopefully this one time I have sorted. Yeah, so we definitely have water getting into the roof. Um, <laughs> Which isn't That's fun. Not major. It's not major, but there was one major leak which Marcel and his dad fixed, and that wasn't so fun. And either. if we park on a lean, we're all right. Yeah. And then there was that time we hit that like big swarm of bees and like killed. Big bee massacre. Oh, we killed so many bees. I felt awful. It was like a hailstorm, but <laughs> just bees. Oh, it's not funny. Bees, yeah, no, it's not funny. And we hopped out and had a look, and there's like half bees just like. That was still alive, and I was trying to find like a rock to kill them with or something. <laughs> Poor things. Anyway, let's get into our top three worst moments of truck life. No, one of the most, one of our, it wasn't the worst, but one of the, the most sucky was having all of our bikes stolen and scooters um, a week before we hit the road. Yeah, just before we left the Auckland area for our first proper adventures in the truck. <laughs> we lived in the truck for five months and we were about to hit the road and yeah, this happened. They clearly need the bikes more than we did. Mm. And then, when we went outside, well dad did, and then he just walked outside and he saw that our bikes and scooters, all of them were missing. They're all stolen. Yeah. Right, May. Yeah. What is it? Three sleeps left to go. Yeah. Three sleeps left to go. Daddy finished the bike racks. And all the bikes got stolen, and your boys' scooters, and mm. your one, your scooter got stolen, what, a couple of weeks ago? Yeah. And we were about to be able to <sighs> start it. doing that stuff. Biking and exploring, yeah. So all our bikes were strapped down on here. Marcel finished the racks and had them strapped down. He was just in the process of getting our wire rope and padlocks and everything sorted for them. And some punks have come and cut all the strops. Just cut them off, chucked it all in the bushes over here, and taken them. So Josiah and I are looking at Facebook Marketplace to see if we can find our stolen stuff on there. It's quite unlikely they would have listed stuff already, eh, JJ? Yeah. Yeah. This this morning, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sucky. We're just about to hit the road and yeah, they're gone. <laughs> I just got off the phone to Covey and our trailer and trailer contents, stuff outside the motorhome, aren't covered. Like the outside barbecue is covered because it's a fixture on the motorhome. So um, I'm just organising um, a contents insurance and a trailer and outside stuff insurance quote through them um, to get the stuff insured properly before we hit the road. I thought that we had our everything inside the motorhome covered but it's actually just all the fixtures required for living in a motorhome that's covered so our tv's covered because it's a fixture of the motorhome but say our ipad and phones and gopro aren't covered so i'm going to get that all sorted over the next couple of days before we hit the road so yeah more recently our a-frame we had a bit of an incident with that didn't we oh just a little <laughs> We may have fully bent and almost snapped our A-frame while towing the car. Hey, I did it so good to the point where there was no damage on the car. No damage on the car. But what did you say? You like looked in the mirror 
and you and thought our Zippy car was trying to overtake <laughs> us, which isn't quite right when it's supposed to be behind me. No, no. So Marcel thinks he must have turned the key off instead of leaving the car on, which means the steering wheel locked and Beast has been trying to tow Zippy without the steering wheel being able to turn. So that's happened. Um, our, our trip's just got more expensive. Okay, so it looks like I'm driving to Napier behind the truck. But I'm driving back to Kokoda. I'm driving to Kokoda? <laughs> That's alright babe, we've just got a deal. Um, it's okay. <laughs> it's not alright, but we're just going to have to deal with it. That's, um, yeah. Did, could you feel it? No, I just saw it go when I came around the corner. Because it would have been trying to go that way. I thought you meant, he said there was a car right out our bum and I thought he meant that there was a car tailgating us and he was stopping to have a go at the guy but he meant our car So our A-frame is screwed McDuck Just here Fold it up as best you can <laughs> Oh no uh. But yeah, probably the most dangerous time, or worst of our top three, was our trailer braking when we just left the Auckland area. What was it, a wheel bearing? That wasn't the most dangerous one, that just happened on the same trip, right? Same trip. That's a bit of a downer on our trip south. We've got something wrong with one of the tyres on the trailer. It's time to pick up the sticker and smell the trailer it was hot and it looks like it's shot at some one of its bearings and now i'm just trying to get my fingers into an asian built trailer <laughs> to get some nuts off or bolts off. well you've got them all off except for one eh? eh you've got them all off except for one yeah. can't get to it it's just Right by the motorway, lovely and scenic and peaceful. <laughs> so you're going back to Auckland? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Puka Koei. Yeah. Kids and I'll wait here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, see you soon or later. So one thing I'm learning about living in a house truck is you can't really plan your day. Yeah, I wasn't exactly planning on sitting by the busy motorway. Kids are watching a movie though, so they're all happy. Marcel's in Pukekoe, trying to find a place that can help him with the trailer wheel. And hopefully we'll still get to Raglan tonight. <laughs> that was so like fun. Not really. <laughs> So I was just checking the wheel, we've just pulled over off the motorway. Um, we left Meri Meri, I think we got there around 11 and we left at 3.30, so it took a wee while, but at least it happened on a weekday, so shops were open. Hopefully it's all good. Oh. How's it look? Huh? Is it alright so far? Oh, could we still be at the pub, it's heated up. Has it? Do those things to me, you're so mean. The worst point was when the actual A-frame of the trailer had just about completely come off the trailer just before we got to New Plymouth. When we parked, finally we got to park up in, um, what PRP was it? Linear Road. Linear Road. Mm. Just out of New Plymouth. The actual A-frame. I went to go lift the truck, the, the trailer, so then Zippy could come off, and it actually fell off, like separated itself. Then, so we're quite lucky it didn't separate in the gorge, but that was the most dangerous so far. Yeah, no, if that had happened on the road while we were going like 90, because that's the speed limit in the truck, eh? while we, we were going up to 90 k's. We would have got a new car out of it though. Oh. We could have caused a really terrible accident, actually. We could have got a new car. 
<laughs> the insurance. Anyway. Well, yeah, so does every now. <clears throat> yeah, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, that was definitely the most dangerous of the times. Um, and we're very, very fortunate that it actually fell to pieces just as we were driving onto this property that we were going to camp at. And um, yeah, we got rid of the trailer, needless to say. Carl, well, thanks for watching that. And we'll see you on the road, maybe. Yeah, but before we go real quick, um, we've also opened our merch store finally. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so there's some men's hoodies, women's hoodies, t-shirts and stuff like that on there. Go check it out. Go check it out. Also, um, I'm hand making some things from the truck, and that's also on there too. Some macrame products, and there will be other stuff on there soon. But yeah, check out the store tab on our channel. Smile! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching our family's adventures. If you enjoy our content, please make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.